Hello and welcome to another video by the Initiative for Interstellar Studies. My name is Andreas Hein. You have probably heard about this strange looking object called Oumuamua, which came from interstellar space. It was discovered in 2017 and researchers are still struggling with making sense of the data which was captured. A lot of speculations have been made around the shape of the object. It is either cigar-shaped and very elongated, or there have been speculations about Oumuamua being a very flat, pancake-shaped object, such as a solar sail and maybe an alien solar sail. Whatever Oumuamua is, it is already too faint to be further observed by telescopes. The only way to answer this question would be to fly to Oumuamua. Hence, the question is, can we fly to Oumuamua? The basic challenge of flying to Oumuamua is that Oumuamua travels incredibly fast. It travels in interstellar space at a velocity of 26 km per second, and that's about the velocity the solar system travels within our galaxy. Hence, Oumuamua is probably at rest with respect to the galaxy and actually the solar system flew into Oumuamua. Now, 26 kilometers per second, this is very fast because the fastest human-made object that is currently traveling in interstellar space, the Voyager probes, they travel at about 17 kilometers per second. That has led some researchers to claim that Oumuamua is actually too fast to be chased with existing chemical rockets. Now, in 2017, Project LIRA was initiated by the Initiative for Interstellar Studies. The objective of Project LIRA is to find out whether it's possible to chase interstellar objects such as Oumuamua. Obviously, we could chase Oumuamua with very advanced technologies such as solar and laser sails as depicted in this image. However, the question we asked ourselves was, can we chase Oumuamua with existing technologies such as solid rocket propellant engines? It turns out that while this is very challenging and difficult, we have to use a trick in order to achieve that objective. This trick is the so-called solar Oberth maneuver. In the solar Oberth maneuver, the spacecraft travels to a very close point to the sun where it reaches a very high velocity according to orbital mechanics. At this closest point to the sun, the rocket engines are ignited and thereby the spacecraft is catapulted out of the solar system at very high speeds. Now the reason why the engines are ignited at this closest point to the sun is that according to orbital mechanics, you get the maximum bang for the buck when you ignite the engines at that specific point. Our calculations showed that with the solar orbit maneuver, we can accelerate the spacecraft to over 70 km per second in interstellar space, and that would be sufficient for chasing Oumuamua. How does such a spacecraft look like? It very much looks like a standard interplanetary spacecraft, but then you have the solid rocket engines at the rear of the spacecraft and a gigantic heat shield which protects the spacecraft at its close encounter with the sun. Does such a heat shield already exist? Actually, it does. The Parker Solar Probe, which is currently on its mission around the sun, is protected by a heat shield which would be sufficient for a Project Lyra style mission. You can see the heat shield here at the front of the probe and it protects the spacecraft from the intense heat load when it comes close to the sun at about 11 solar radii distance. In a number of publications, we analyzed a variety of mission and trajectory scenarios to Muamua, such as this one, where the spacecraft is initially launched to Jupiter, Jupiter breaks the spacecraft and subsequently the spacecraft drops into the sun and is performing the solar orbit maneuver. Our team member Adam Hibbert came up with dozens of different solutions for trajectories to Oumuamua. Hence, while initially researchers thought that chasing Oumuamua with existing technologies is not possible, 
Our analysis clearly showed that it's indeed possible. And that means that potentially we would be able to answer this question of what Oumuamua actually is. At this point, I would like to thank the Project Lara team, which is working on solutions for reaching Oumuamua and other interstellar objects since 2017. If you are interested in further information about Project Lara, please visit our dedicated website. And with that, see you next time.